Okay. Uh, okay. Today we will continue uh, doing uh, tutorial four, and who are vectors, linear, linear combinations, and uh, linear dependence. Type. Um, let me remind you. Okay. Before we knew what do we mean by linear combination, we said that if we have some vectors, for instance, x1, x2, and x3, and till xn, please, please, uh, please mute your mic, till xn, then if x, I can find it in terms of them by doing linear uh, uh, operations or linear combination, that is x is equal to c1 x1 plus another constant c2 in the vector. Taban x1, x2, x3 are vectors, correct? Type c2, x2 plus c3, x3 plus cn, xn. Okay, where c1, wa c2, wa the cn. Are, are just scalars, are real numbers. These are real numbers. And x1, x2 are vectors. x1, x2, x3, up to xn are what? Are vectors. So if this happened, what do we say? We say x is a linear combination. We did linear operations, huh? and then we combine this plus this, plus this, plus this. It's a linear combination of the vectors x1, x2, x3, up to xn. If the question was, is x a linear combination of some vectors? He gave you some vectors and he asked you that. Is this x is a linear combination of them? So what you need to find? I need to find these variables. A c1, c2, c3. Do they ex uh, exist or no? If they exist, if you find some numbers or some real numbers, then that means it is a linear combination. If you could not find them, it is not a linear combination. And we did examples on that, correct? In particular, here we did some examples. Let's see. First of all, we define what is a vector, how we add vectors, our rules, and etc. Correct? Type. For instance, is this vector is a linear combination of these? That means, can I find this vector using these vectors by you know, multiplying them by a constant and then add? And the only thing I can do is a linear combination. So if yes, then halas, x is a linear combination. And we found that, yes, the constant are 2, minus 3, and the 4. I can find them such that 2 for x1, or minus 3 for x2, or 4 for x3, and then we add the resultant vectors. It will give me x. If yes, x, I can find it in terms of them. If it is a linear combination of them. OK. And we did uh, some other uh, problems. And we said to make life easier, what actually we found that we are going to end up by linear equations. Why? Because when you multiply this by C1 and this one by C2. OK, so here this one by C1 and this is by C2. OK, and then add up. You're going to get some equations yeah, and here this is. So you're going to find that this is is equal to this. So when you add this together, you're going to get this one here. So we need what this plus this is equal to this vector. OK, so is equal to this vector now. But before we said two vectors are equal if each component in the first is equal to the corresponding one, correct? And we said that we're going to end up by linear equations. So we have system of linear equations, which is that. And now what remains to solve this system of linear equations? How we solve it? Put it in the augmented, put but then we use x, y. Now we're using c1 or c2. So the same way, find the augmented matrix and solve it, and then find. We found the some values for the constants, 
that means it is a linear combination. And I told you that, halas. Now, since I understood the steps, to find that this vector is a linear combination of these or no, what we are going to do? Just these vectors, they are as if it is the A, and this is the B, phi a augmented matrix. So, in a augmented matrix, diamond A, B. So, you should reach to this one. And, it, and also, you can start. What you need to write for me, that we need, if it is linear combination, it should satisfy this. That means it should satisfy that. And then after this, immediately come and write for me the augmented matrix for it. So it's enough. Okay, clear? Yes? If X is a linear combination of the others, so X should equal, how many they are? They are two, one and two. Type is should equal C1, X1, plus C2, X2, okay? And this is should equal to, so you write 5, 0, should equal to C1 times the first vector, and you write the vector, plus C2 times the second vector. So this imply we, are, we want to solve for C1 and C2, correct? Immediately, just put the vectors, okay, here, fill A part, and do the line, and put for me, fill B part, what the, this L5 was zero. And then start reducing to the echelon form the way we used. So the first one is corresponding to the C1, and the second one corresponding to the C2. <coughs> and then you solve till you reach at the end. If there is a solution, okay. So you find the C1 and the C2, and then you write. <coughs> you get X, Bitsawi, 2. Is a kind of this C1 and this is C2. Where is the first vector you started with? The can corresponding lish, no? Can corresponding lil 1 or 2. So, and whole vector x1. So, C1, x1, and here 2, phi x1 plus 1, phi x2. This is the x. <coughs> and to make sure that your solution is correct, go and substitute the two where here and the one here and do the calculation you should reach to this one if you reach there then you are done you are quite sure that fairly the vector is uh, this is a linear combination of this this is that for you just to test in the quinta, you reach to the correct, for the correct solution. Your solution was correct or no? Okay. Type um, the same here to see that or to check that is this vector is a linear combination of these. What we do? We say that if it is a linear combination, then x should equal to c1 phi x1 plus c2 phi x2 plus c3 phi x3, correct? That means what? You write c1 phi, the, uh, write the vector, plus c2 fill vector, or plus c3 fill vector, this is equal, and write the vector, haggana, alhua, minus 5, 11, minus 7, this one. And then after that, directly just write that, this implies, and put the augmented matrix, Okay, this is an A part and this is a P part. An A part, what? what is the A part? This is the A part, correct? This is going to be the A part. What is the B part? B part is this one here. Okay, and then reduce to the echelon form and then solve. Type, taban, here steps, missing steps, okay? So when you reduce to the echelon form, we reach here. Is there a solution? No solution. Why? Because here zeros and here a number. If there is no solution. Since there is no solution, if X is not a linear combination of these three vectors, I cannot find it by doing linear operation on you know, these three vectors. You cannot get them 
get it from them by doing a linear uh, combination. Clear? Type. And then after that, we define the linear dependence and independence type. Before, x is equal to, and here, addition of some other vectors by doing linear combination, correct? Now, I want them all together. Okay, so all of them together, if they are equal to zero, who can add it together, okay? If this is equal to the zero, okay, then this, these vectors, we say that they are linearly dependent. If what, if the zeros exist, I, sorry, the C's has values, some real value. Yani if you know, linearly dependent, if you know, C1, wa, C2, and C3 have some real values, not all zeros, not had the CN, are not all zero. So you get some values, and it's clear. Taban, here, when we talk about linear combination, take this one and put it there. Okay, this one actually depend on x1 and x2, correct? We get it in terms of them, correct? So we say that the three vectors together, and then when we put them at x. Now they are linearly dependent because I can get this in term of the others by doing linear combination. Clear? Oh, this is a linear combination. Okay, so now for these vectors, okay, x1, x2, had the x all together, we say that they are linearly dependent. Actually, that means what one of them depend on the others, at least one of them, at least. That means I can write it in terms of the other by doing linear combination. Or else, <coughs> if how we test for that, that means if we let C1 for X1, that C2 for X2 is equal to zero, then I, can, I have to find some real values for this, not all zeros. No bigger all zeros. You cannot write one of them in terms of the others to get the zero. Yes. So is it clear up to here? Type if you ten haikun linearly independent. Is a can del case with are linearly dependent. Independent. you know, all C's equal to zero. So C1 should equal to C2, should equal to C3. Wahakaza. And should equal to zero. All of them together should equal to zero. If this happened, then it is independent. Clear? Yani if and then a C1 X1 plus C2 X2 plus CK XK is equal to zero, I will assume that this is equal to zero. I want to test that how al vectors X1 X2 had the XK are they dependent or independent? Is there one of them? I can write it in terms of the others, at least one of them, or no one I can find it in terms of any other, any of them. I, what I'll do, let this equal to zero. If now my, I want to do what? To find the values of the C's. That means again, I want to solve for C1, C2 at the CK. If I find that all the C's are zero, that means these x's are independent. If some of them, at least some of them, not zero, then it is dependence. They are dependent. Lel anu shilta da khatte tomao. We get c's. The values ma futta kum mojuda. I khatte om kulla om together. I took them all together. So there should be values for the c. Clear? Type. <coughs> For, for instance, this one, I, I want to see that it, they are linearly dependent or independent. From the first look, I can say that they are linearly independent because clearly no one I can find it in terms of the other two. So I have one, 
How can I have one here while these are zeros? Type I have one here. How can I use this to find this vector? And we have here zero clearly. So, so it's clearly, clearly they are linearly independent. But if I want to prove how we prove, as I told you that we do what we say that C1 X1 plus C2 X2 plus how many they are? Three C3 X3 is equal to zero. That I'm going to do it. Let. Now what I want to find, I want to find these values. Correct? Instead of before for linear combination, what we used to say, we say that this part should equal to X. Now instead of X, what we have here equal to zero. So again, that means what you're going to reach to the augmented matrix here. This the vector corresponding to X1. So you write the coefficients here, OK? Uh, sorry, and this is an X2, and this is the X3, and then the line. And here, what about the B? And B part is zeros, zero, 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 correct? So this column corresponding coefficient, you know, can C1, and here C2, C3. So we solve for C1, C2, and C3 type. <coughs> Like here, what is the value of C1? 1 for C1, so C1 is equal to 0. And C2 also is equal to 0, correct? And C3 as well is equal to 0. So if they are linearly independent. And here there are others. Are they linearly dependent or independent? What we do, now we let. Diamond tab division, let. C1, X1, plus C2, X2, plus C3, X3 is equal to zero. And we solve for C1 and C2 and C3. OK. Here, I'll be part and in the homogeneous system in this case is equal to zero. OK, so we end up with the augmented matrix. An augmented matrix a part. <coughs> L X one, I'll put it here. L X two here. L X three here. Okay, and then here zero zero zero, and then we find the C one and C two and C three. What are the values of C one and C two and C three? Okay, if you did it, so this is your augmented matrix one two three one two three two minus one zero two minus etc. Correct? Okay, so reduce it to the echelon form. OK, so here we reduce it to the echelon form. Now get the values of C1 and C2 and C3. C1 is equal to 0, C2 0. Yes, if Krishna, if they are what? Linearly independent. Yes, independent. When all the C's are zeros. Clear. OK, because. Uh, yeah, that means what no vector, I can refine it in term of the others since the constants are zero. OK, now I'll give you a new theorem. To find that they are dependent. Or no, or independent. We can solve as. This way. We try to find the C's. If all of them zero, then that means it is independent. If some have other real values, not all zero, if it is you know, dependent. Type another way of solution is what? <coughs> Type. Let me call all the zeros or the C's are zero. C1 is equal to C2 is equal to C3 is equal to equal to zero. That means I have what? How many solutions? And they come solution one unique, well, a many, well, a no solution. I have a unique solution, correct? Algima C1, it's only zero. Of C2, it's only zero. Of C, correct? If I have a unique solution, correct? Zero, zero, 
زيرو زيرو اللي هم ال values حقت ال C1 وال C2 وال C3 correct وهكذا so I have a unique solution when we have a unique solution when the number of leading ones is equal to the number of unknown correct that means if I have one two three unknowns I should have three leading one correct type since I am going to reach to this okay type the determinant of this part if it's not equal to zero that means the determinant of this part should not equal to zero correct why because of the theorems of the rules we had them fill uh, uh, <coughs> the previous chapter for the determinants correct if i have any determinant okay to reach to the echelon four what you're going to do you're going to do just operations for rows and they are the linear operations correct either we multiply a row by a number or uh, uh, which is either a fraction or a number yani half one over three you can multiply a row times or times two times three times hundred times minus five whatever type and we know there is a relation to go from this to that if i am multiplying by a number a row by a number correct or else i can switch the rows take the first one up مثلاً, exchange interchange like that and we know in this case we get that one we can get it in term of this as per the rule the previous rule and we knew if we multiply one row by a number and add it to the other still the determinant will be the same of this and that that means if I have this one is not zero, that means a determinant of it is not zero. That means immediately the determinant of that one should not equal to zero, correct? So this we can apply it here to have a new theorem. <clears throat> if the solution is unique and it is the zero solution, since the num we will reach to this form. If this determinant is not equal to zero, if the determinant of the vectors should not equal to zero. If to prove now, we can have it as a theorem. Okay, and this way of proving is even more easier than using the constant or finding the constant type. <coughs> what is this statement? Take the vectors, find the determinant of the vectors. And here you put the various vector, the second vector, the third vector, I'll have how many vectors you have. Find the determinant. If the determinant is not equal to zero, and who of this case, what is the determinant of this? If I get it one, phi one, phi one. Taban, you will not include this. And I'm talking only about the vectors here. If the determinant of the vectors is not equal to zero, this imply what Tawali Damanaha, they are linearly, the vectors are linearly independent. Otherwise, if equal to zero, okay, here Taman, if I got a number. Here, if the answer is zero, immediately Damanaha, they are dependent. They are dependent vectors. So this is easier when you are proving, but there is a problem. Always a determinant, you get it for, you know, for square matrix, correct? So in this case, I have three vectors, correct? And what, what the number of rows? One. Two, three. There are three elements in each. If guess, I can find the determinant. Type now. What if there is a fourth one? Okay, and there is some numbers here. Can I say that they are linearly dependent or no using the determinant? No. Why? 
because the determinants is going to be additional. It's not a square. ما حتكون square matrix. Why? Because I will have four columns and three rows. So I cannot tell in this case that they are linearly dependent or independent using the determinant way. But I can apply this and then solve. If you can use the determinant only in the case that you have, you know, you are going to get a square matrix. Is it clear? Clear for now? Type. Here is the statement of the theorem. The set of n vectors in Rn, okay, is linearly dependent if the determinant is equal to zero. If they are dependent, local determinant is zero. If not zero, if they are independent. Just learn by heart one of them, okay, عشان don't you don't confuse. يا تحفظ dependent أو independent. And then the other is the reverse. Okay. Type the vectors. These three vectors, are they linearly independent or no? How to prove this? There are different ways to prove that. Type either you, we have two methods, two different methods. Either you say that let C1, X1 plus C2, X2, how many they are? There are three. C3, X3 is equal to zero. And then try to find this Z, Cs. Correct? If you could find some numbers, if they depend on each other, if these vectors are linearly dependent. Okay, if the only way out is Cs are equal to zero. Okay, if this happened, then Tawali Manahashno. Independent. Okay, the only way out for this to show zero in no, the all this is no numbers, no other numbers. If you independent or else, now this is and these three rows, I could and three columns, correct? I can use the determinant. Yes, I can use the determinant. Okay, so I'll put them like that and then find the determinant. And easily you can find the determinant even if you want to expand using this one. Because here, and then what you will get? This and this you multiply, and it's going to be here positive, here negative, here positive, so here negative, correct? So minus one, and then phi, which determinant? One, one, because you will cancel this and you cancel that, so you have one, one, and one, zero, correct? So one phi zero, by zero. And minus one phi, phi what? Phi zero minus one phi one. So minus one, zero minus one, which is minus one. So that is minus one phi minus one. So this is equal to one. So it is a number that is different than zero. If they immediately they are linearly independent. Clear? If they are linearly independent because the determinant is different than zero. Type <clears throat> two vectors x1 and x2 in Rn is linearly dependent. Immediately, if I can be my num, they are two. Can I find one of them in terms of the other by multiplying it time a constant or no? Correct? No need to do all that. Plus. Can you get one from the other or no? Lanom huma, they are only two. It be dependent or independent. Easily to be solved. Half a number, I can multiply that vector by to get this one or no. If I could find Tawali immediately, I can say that they are linearly dependent or independent. If you want to go and solve like we did before, like that, you can do. But you will reach the you know, operation is very simple, actually. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. And as I told you before, these all vectors, we say that they are linearly dependent. That means at least one of them, I can write it in terms of the others by doing, you know, by doing linear combination. Okay, 
Now, here we have this vector and this vector. OK, do I have to go and solve using the previous theorem or immediately I can say that they are linearly dependent or no? It's clear. I can get the, this one from this one. How? Just multiply times 1 over 3. So x1 is equal to 1 over 3 phi x2. Correct? Yeah, so this is they are you know, linearly dependent because one of them I can get it in terms of the other or else x2 is equal to 3 x1, correct? If we multiply x1 by 3, I'm going to get that. So no need to do any other steps. Immediately they are linearly dependent since one of them, correct? I can get it from the other one. Say. So Moreover, if I took this one and I put it there, okay, what I'm going to get? I am going to get 3x1 minus x2 is equal to 0. Okay, what about the C's? We're not going to say let C1 x1 plus C2 x2 is equal to 0 and we try to find the C1 or C2. Okay, what about the C1 and C2? They are C1 is equal to 3 and C2 is equal to minus 1. Aren't they different than 0? Yeah, they are. Clear? No need for to go that way. Just immediately from here, if I can find one of them in terms of the other, plus I'm done. Okay, that means they are dependent. Type. Let x, this vector x1, and x2, this vector, are they linearly dependent or no? I can go this way, c1, x1, where c2, x2, c3, x3, equate with 0, yes, and then find the c's. Or I put them, the three together, and find the determinant, and check the determinant. The determinant, if it is different than 0, then they are linearly independent, correct? Type or else now here it's easy. We have this is x1 and this is x2 and this. Can I write one of them in terms of the others? Oh, actually, when I'm finding the C, C's, that means I want to find how one of them can be written in terms of the others or not. Type. How can I write one of them? Yes. Actually, 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. Yes. So x3, I can find it from x1 and x2 by doing a linear combination of them, correct? So that is x3 is equal to x1 plus x2. What about the c's? What, are, what is the value of the c's? c1 is 1 and c2 is 1, correct? So that means they are linearly dependent. If we have a question, phi part a, is x3 a linear combination of the others you know how to solve that sir? that means i'm looking for the constant such that x3 is equal to c1 x1 plus c2 x2 and i want to find these c's c1 and c2 so if i could find them that means yes this is a linear combination of x1 and x2 type jeffy part b Hal x1, x2, and x3, are they linearly, whatever, dependent or independent? Are they linearly independent? Do I have to go and do some steps? Well, immediately from part A, I can say. What do you see? Do I have to do other steps? Well, immediately from here, I can tell. What do you think? Uh -huh. What do you think? How immediately I can find it or no? Any answer? How can I use part A? Type, I can use part A to find it. Why? 
if x3 is a linear combination, but that is a total solution. Uh, certainly, if the solution was x3 is a linear combination of the others. If it is, so that means x3, I can write it in terms of x1 and x2. If they immediately, they are not linearly independent because I can write x3 in terms of this two. So depend on the solution of A, sometimes you can solve part B. Okay, so here, this is clear, they are linearly dependent because I can find this in terms of the others. Type now, let S is equal to X1, X2, X3 be linearly independent set. Show that, the, he gave me that this is, is linearly independent. What is the, that means? That means if we assume K1 constant phi X1 that K2 some constant phi X2 plus K3 phi X3 is equal to zero, the only way out for this to happen that this and this and this should equal to what should equal to zero. Okay, and this is he gave me that they are linearly independent. Now he want me to show that as well this vector and this vector and this vector new vectors are going to be what linearly independent type. So what is to prove that they are linearly independent? What we want? We want the constant to find their constant. How many vector I have? I have three. This is the first vector. This is the second vector, and this is the third vector, correct? So what we need, we need that C, C1, let me solve here, C1 for the vector الأول, which is X1 plus X2. We get this, we got this vector by adding these two, correct? We got a new vector, which is X1 plus X2, plus C2 phi, what? X1 minus x3 plus c3 phi x2 plus 2x3. If we let this one is equal to zero, okay, what we want to prove, I should to say that they are linearly independent. That will happen only if this one, correct, and this one, and this one, all of them, are equal to zero. So how can I find this? What comes to my mind here, he gave me a condition where I'm going to use this condition. That is, I need some constant multiplied for x1 and some constant multiplied for x2. So what comes to my mind, I make this equation like this, okay? That is what first expand the brackets. When you expand the bracket, C1, X1, correct? Plus C1, X2, plus C2, X1, minus C2, X3, correct? And here for the Lina plus C three X two plus two C plus two C three correct V X three and this is equal to zero. Okay, now what we do? We take a terms of x1. So here, this one, vx1, where the other? And this one, vx1. So take x1 as a common factor. So we have c1 plus c2, this number, vx1. Okay, and now those for x2, so this one and here this one, correct? So plus C1 plus C2 
C3, X3, and then plus now those. Uh, sorry, X2. The ten and X2, sir. And then this is X2, okay? And then plus what else? For the X3 term X3. So we have this is fill X3. Okay, this is for the X3 and what? And this one. So take the X3 as a common factor. I could end the minus C2 plus 2C3. And then here, X3, and this is, is equal to zero. So, if the, but X1, X2, and X3, he said from the beginning that they are linearly independent. So, if this is equal to zero, this can happen only since X1 or X2, X3 are linearly independent. This can happen only if this part is equal to zero and this part is equal to zero. And this part, al humal constant equal to zero. If go what? If go, I have. That means this implies C1 plus C2 should equal to zero. And from the second, that is C1 plus C3 should equal to zero. And then from here, minus C2 plus Two C three should equal to zero. What is this system of linear equations? Type to solve it, we put it in augmented form. What is the augmented form? The coefficient times C one is one. Haga C two is one. And the C three. If the C three coefficient haga zero, mean the first equation. Okay. Then, here C1 by 1, here 0, was C3, coefficient of 1. What about this one? Type, what about C1? Maybe C1, if get 0. C2, coefficient minus 1. Coefficient of C3, 2. And then here, 0, 0, 0. And we solve to find the C1 and the C2 and the C3. Type, when you solve, if this is our augmented matrix, we reduce it to the echelon form. Here in a few steps, as a homework, you go and do them. Okay. When we reach to the echelon form, what we got? What we get? C1 is equal to zero. Yes. Because this is corresponding to C1 and this is C2. So this is correct. So 1 for C1 is equal to zero. C2 is equal to zero. What? C3 is equal to zero. If that is all, all the C's are zeros. If yes, this vector and this vector and this vector are linearly independent. Is it clear? Any question? So this was the last example. In this chapter, this was the last example. Do you have any question on this part? Any question? Okay, we finished this chapter. We're going to start the uh, new chapter.